You know, I wanted to make a recording because, uh, you know, uh, after the storm, you know, like I said, I was very blessed. And, uh, but you know, I wanted to say I don't live with mommy and daddy. I live alone. I don't have a um, man or woman to come to my fucking rescue, as so many of us people do. Um, I don't have a generator, and um, I don't have money to go buy a generator. I don't have the um, ability to sit there and take a cold bath without me catching pneumonia. Yeah, I don't have it. Um, Then, with what happened to a friend of mine, Rick, who at one time I was in a relationship with, it's funny, he's 56 years old and he's worked so much in his life. All he really has is his dogs, his companions. So, when I found all this out, What would anyone expect me to do but to go see him, help him, help him feed his dogs, help him any way I can? I think about that a lot because, yes, you have the people who say they are there for you, but they're really not there for you. They're there for a laugh or two. Other than that, not much. Um, When Rick called me, well, text messaged me, and uh, his neighbor did also, um, to let me know, my first thing to do was to run after him. Go see him. Go feed his dogs. Go show them love. Bring him clothes or whatever he needed because I know what it feels like to not have anybody yes I have my soulmate in the woods who's dealing with her own catastrophe who is a single mother raising her girls mama who has to take care of grandma and uncle Charlie see what people don't seem to understand John My sons are well taken care of by their father. Believe me when I say um, they are safe. They are good. But other than that, it's just me and my hounds. And any time that you ask anyone for help, there's always that huge, huge responsibility of owing them favors. I don't do favors, which is why I probably don't ask for help from anyone. It just, a lot of things are just starting to make me realize and open up my eyes how much you go out of your way for people. But believe me, when I tell you people, they shan't do the same for you. Um, It's sad, but it's oh, oh, so true. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here. Um, in any way at all. What I'm saying is, is, uh, you know, some people have the money, the means, and things to, to keep on trucking. Others don't. Do you understand me? Um, why don't people who know that people are sick or hurt or the elderly go check on them if they don't have electricity? It's getting cold. Some people don't have heat. Some of the sick and elderly, this weather change is literally a dramatic drop. Reach out your hand and help anybody you can. Peace. And just because you assume to have running water, electricity, and in some rooms, some people have just lost all of their food that was supposed to last them for two weeks of grocery shopping. They have just lost everything. Don't people realize that? 
It's not just the power going out or not having water or being able to watch your fucking TV. It's everything. Wake the fuck up.